Hey, Homestead Prepper. Okay, guys, I've uh, finally come to terms that I'm going to have to build a log splitter. Um, this is live oak right here. I don't know if any of y'all have tried to split any of that by hand, but it is exceptionally tough. I've whacked on this about six times, and this one was in the same spot, and it has buried itself, and I'm going to have to take a hammer and get that out of there. So, um, to the point, we're going to have to build a log splitter. Now, uh, that right there is um, water oak, and that splits really nice, and you put that stuff in that tire right there, and all of that was split by hand, no problem. But uh, that live oak, it uh, is uh, another story. So, all right, let's, let's build a log splitter. Okay, um, this is... Um, the foundation of my log splitter project and I think uh, the foundation is probably the most uh, one of the most important things you can uh, start off any project with you build on a good foundation and you'll have a, a good uh, working hopefully a good working log splitter now this is um, an 8 inch wide I-beam and it's a little less than a half inch thick it's what uh, they called an 8W31 or 8W32 I don't remember and it's a drop I got from Tampa Bay Steel it's uh, about seven and a half feet long and it weighs about 31 or 32 pounds per foot so it's pretty heavy duty five inch hydraulic cylinder 24 inch ram on it uh, with a 3000 psi pump it should generate mm, around 60,000 uh, pounds of uh, force and this is uh, that, that's just standing up there that could fall over on me that's a three quarter inch um, that's going to be my wedge it's a three-quarter inch, 12 by 12 uh, plate of steel, and I uh, I have the mark right there. I'm not now. If I were to go ahead and weld this, this is a 24 inch ram. What would happen? This thing would come out 27 or 28 inches. I, I don't know. So I'm gonna wait till the hydraulics are hooked up on it and see exactly where it stops, and then I'll weld this thing on there. Of course, I got to sharpen it and everything. I haven't decided whether I'm gonna use all 12 inches or just uh, cut it and maybe use eight inches of it, but it will be a um, a four-way split. I'm going to put that on there. 30 tons of force should uh, should split some wood. Uh, this is a three-quarter inch plate steel right here as is this. This, um, now guys all I have is my weld pack 100 and I got some really good penetration and that's because I used my oxyacetylene torch to heat this thing up and when I heat it up it really penetrate. Now I don't recommend y'all do that, okay, unless you're a certified welder and you know what you're doing. Now here I did the same thing. I did uh, multiple pass. I need to do some more passes on that. Uh, this is half inch and I just have that tack welded in there because if I were to go hog wild and weld, weld all that up then there would be something off, you know, after I got done. So I'm going to make sure everything is working and sliding properly and then I'll uh, do a proper weld on it. Now this uh, is a half inch pin. Now this is just for pushing, okay? This uh, is not going to pull and split anything. So otherwise that half inch pin, I, I don't see that holding up for very long in that uh, instance. Now, if you look at a lot of log splitters, they have a setup like this. And what I've got, is I've got this right here. This is half inch. And it's just a little bit wider than that. And that gives me enough gap if I were to put some grease in there. Let's, let's put this thing on here, by the way. I'm glad that didn't fall on my toes. Okay, anyway, this um, is going to fit on here like this. And uh, this, like I said, is the spacer. And this uh, this grabs it over here, this other piece. And these are half inch steel. And that's three quarter, like I said. And I've got a piece for the other side. And no, I'm not going to be using these uh, grade two bolts. These are galvanized grade two. It's just to mine stuff up. That's the only reason I got that. Uh, if I were to use all eight of these working together, the tensile strength, I don't know, is I think around 80,000 PSI for eight of those. And what I'm going for is shear strength. Because this, if it breaks, it's going to shear off. And that's about 60% of the tensile strength. So anyway, that comes out to about 50,000 PSI. And this thing is going to generate 60,000 uh, pounds of force so uh, this grade 2 stuff is not going to work. Now grade 5 
of work and I think that'll give me around 80,000 PSI which is higher than the 60,000. I'm going to go with grade 8 and if I use uh, 8 of the grade 8 half inch bolts that's going to give me over 100,000 PSI which is uh, is uh, more than enough than this thing will put out and it gives me a good safety factor. I'm also going to put some steel hoops over this thing and that way if this thing ever were to break loose uh, that would contain it and uh, hopefully there would be no fatalities. Now I've got th these are two half inch plates right here I need to uh, grind these down a little bit better and that's a inch and a quarter steel rod right there and that's uh, 3 16 steel and what I've got here is I've got this thing perfectly level off of that beam right there and I want it perfectly straight because we don't want to cause any wear and tear to this cylinder or as little wear and tear as we can a lot of log uh, splitters will wear out um, well I mean they're going to wear out anyway but I'm just saying we need to lessen that as much as possible this uh, coupling is going to go around here this actually is a little bit too small it needs to be a size bigger and it's just to guide that thing on there and that's pretty much it guys so 30 ton log splitter part one all right i've got to order some parts i don't know when they're going to come in when they do um, i'll take this to uh well we'll do part two okay homestead prepper out